Hello again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video about those five Greek achievements. It is now time to learn about five things that you must know about Roman civilization. These two oftentimes get confused, uh, and for good reason, there's similarity, but they are uniquely different as well. And so I want you to have the chance to explore that. Turn your attention to this video. Five things you should know about the Roman Empire. Rome was founded more than 2,800 years ago on the banks of the Tiber, as several tribes came together in the land that is now the country of Italy. Legend has it that the founders of Rome were two twin brothers, Romulus and Remus, who were raised by a wolf. In the beginning, Rome was a monarchy ruled by kings. Later on, the Romans established another government regime called the Republic. There is no king in a republic, so politicians were the ones who made all the decisions coming to agreements. Back then, Rome was expanding and conquered a large part of Italy and the Mediterranean Sea. Centuries later, the government of the Republic faced a crisis and a new era was initiated known as the Roman Empire. All the power belonged to the Emperor, who was counseled by the Senate. Ancient Rome was a civilization of great significance in antiquity that expanded through the territories surrounding the Mediterranean Sea from east to west, Britannia, Hispania, France, Greece, Northern Africa, and Syria. The Roman army was in charge of conquering new lands and keeping the peace within the empire. The Roman army was made up of legions, and these were formed by thousands of soldiers called legionnaires. Their coat of arms was the eagle, which I'm sure you've seen before. Legionnaires were very well trained and underwent military training. The Romans were great at strategic thinking and managed to build a whole empire. The Roman society was divided in several groups. The patricians were the most powerful group. They belonged to nobility, and they were politicians or soldiers. The plebeians made up the working class, or mob. They were craftsmen, peasants, and workers. Slaves had no rights at all and were considered to be property of the empire. Ancient Rome was a polytheistic society. This means that Romans worshipped many gods like Minerva, for example, who was the goddess of wisdom, Neptune, the sea god, Mars, the god of war, or Venus, the goddess of love. Roman cities were walled and the streets were paved. Romans were excellent at urban planning and architecture. They built bridges to be able to cross over rivers, a road system to connect cities, and the famous aqueducts to transport water. They also created buildings like circuses or amphitheaters to stage various forms of entertainment, like chariot racing or gladiator fights. But there was more to Roman entertainment than that. They also built theaters where they represented events like plays from ancient Greece. They built schools, too, to educate children. Towards the end of the 4th century AD, neighboring Germanic tribes started to invade Roman territories. This resulted in a huge crisis that divided the empire in two. The Western Roman Empire, whose capital was Rome, and the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantium. This way, governing such a vast territory would be much easier. The Eastern Roman Empire lasted till 1453, while the Western Roman Empire slowly dissolved until it disappeared in 476. The Middle Ages started right after the fall of the Roman Empire. Thousands of years later, the history of Rome is still present in the organization of our cities, politics, culture, or art. Another very important contribution of the Romans was the Roman civil law system. Many of their laws and ways to understand society still remain till now. These are the five things you should know about the Roman Empire. Did you like learning about them?